Well, all right. Good, uh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Poison Talks Volume 10 with, with Jess Yvette. Hi, Hi. Jess. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Jess. Thanks. Is, let's, let's start off by saying you look lovely tonight. Thank you. Also, well, those bunnies in the back are really cute. Well, thank you. I worked hard on this. Yeah, the, the, it, it is it is so nice to see the the woman behind the bun. Thanks for being it's here, man. So, you're welcome. Thank you for having me on. I you know I I feel like I felt from the very beginning that if we ever did a Jesse Abeb poison talks, it's it's almost like cheating, you know? Because you I, I don't know if you know this, Chad. Jess and I kind of talk like every day. We're we're we're, we're very close friends, so I feel like anything anything we talk about. We've gone over before, but at the same time, doesn't that, that that that'll just make this the best poison talks ever, right? Totally. Totally. So so for the for for the random passerby who might not know, uh, tell us a little bit about, about yourself. Tell us tell us about um, the bun. Who are you? Who am I? Mysteri uh, okay, mysterious you want my woman. Name, age, location, social insurance number, right? Yeah. So you're a streamer. I used to be I used to be a mental health nurse. Mm -hmm. Um I got sick mentally. Uh I've been dealing with depression for a while. Um couldn't work anymore. Quit my job. And then in the same month that I quit my job, I started streaming. Um initially it was only gonna be art, and then like I insisted, and Libby will tell you this, I insisted that I was never gonna play games ever. <laughs> Because I'm very self-conscious of everything. Sure. Uh, so, I, you know, I didn't want to be like, oh, my shitty gameplay. Um, eventually, you... I started playing games. I uh, <laughs> picked up Spelunky HD because I had seen, like, Northern Lion and Mike Lael Fox play. I know. Um, and I was... I had to... I said to myself... You gotta beat Yama on stream before you can buy Spelunky 2. So what? Spelunky 2 came out on the 29th of September. I did it on the 28th. The stream before. Wait, that, that's a... Ha you, you skipped a couple steps in there. That's a huge turnaround from I'm never going to play games to I will beat hell. Yeah, like in HD. I know. You, did, I'm you just, aware. You just got the bug and, and ran with it or what? Yeah, I guess. That's fair. And and then Lunky Two came out, and and I and I thought that I was going to be a variety streamer, and then you know I played yeah. only Spelunky Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, and here we both are, you know. Yeah, I mean now, like I'm I'm actually starting to branch out again. Yeah, uh, you, you you've been doing you've been doing a little char charity stream thing, haven't you? A little bit of charity, huh? Yeah, yeah, just a little. Just a little charity. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's talk about that. I, I usually save the the shilling for the end, but I I I, I want you to brag. A I mean, about it's what the last done. day too. So, Chad, if you want to um, donate, it's the last day of the event. Um, they reached out to me. Uh, the uh, indie games makes a better mm -hmm. uh, fundraiser, and said mm -hmm. like, here's a bunch of indie games. Here's a bunch of keys. Um, if you do like one stream. That would be awesome. Like in the week, it's from it was from the eleventh to the seventeenth. Mm -hmm. uh, so me being me, I was like, "Oh, that's cool." There's like a lot of games on this. Sure, free I'll, games. I'll, I'll 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 like I'll stream every day and try to get through every game. <laughs> and you didn't you didn't and care for all of them, but no. But the idea that you got and to some just play some all... games and oh yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> and then they gave me some extra keys, and I have some stuff to give away still. Um... Yeah, that no, was great. Nice. We raised almost four thousand dollars. Thank you, Chad. Thank You're you, all Chad. amazing. You're all amazing. But yeah, um, so you you you've been getting more into variety. You've been doing Spelunky for a long time, but I, I think one of the things you're best known for in the community is, like you said, your art. Um, how many different streamers in the community have you done art for at this point? I don't know. I've lost count. Because <laughs> it's a lot. 
It's it's a lot. I could go through my emote list and post the ones that I've done, but there are some I don't think I'm subbed to anymore. <laughs> like there's there's there, like there's a lot. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, but we we got we got William Chang, right? We got we At got Sunset. we got Tiny Box. Yep. No, I didn't do his emotes. I did his uh, skin. Right. Well, I'm I'm, I'm talking about stuff you you just worked for. Um, oh, okay. That 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 lovable guy. There's 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 me. You have a bunch of TTS emotes because I haven't let you get into my main stuff until I get partner someday. Mm, knock on wood. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but yeah, it, it's now that you're getting back into variety. You're just over the course of your your career. Are you looking to be if you had, if you had, if you had a say in it, which I guess you do. Do you want to be known primarily as an artist, or as a lunky player, or as a streamer, or as a community leader? Like, what, 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 what is the tag for Jesse Abeb in your mind? How do you define yourself? I, I don't have one. I, like, I feel like the bun encompasses all of it. People know, right? Like, sure, you, you are the, the bun. You're aware mind. of all the different things that they that I do. Um, community leader is mm -hmm. still one that I'm like, really. Um. But uh, no, it's a. Uh, I I don't have a preference for one of them. I uh, am you, I'm good with all of them. I identify with all of them. You just I'm you just proud yes. of all of them. So as yeah. well you, as well you should be. But <laughs> funny to say you're 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 you are the bun. Like the bunnies in general. Uh, the, the background, the shirt. Uh, have yeah, become yeah. A, a core part of that identity in all of those. In all of those respects, why? What made you settle on having like a bunny specifically for an avatar? What is the backstory for the bun? I don't remember. I think probably it was really oh. easy to draw at the time because it was, <laughs> it was one of the like it was one of the first things that I had uh, drawn for myself. Like mm -hmm. I only started drawing last year um, in August uh, mm -hmm. digitally with a tablet. Well, really doing any art at all. Sure. Um, you know, it was just a bunch of it was a bunch of round shapes. It was like an oval, and then like yeah. two longer no. ovals for the ears. Uh, sure, <laughs> easy and adorable, and allows yeah. for a nice little flopping when you're when you have a spelunky skin based on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, some something that I that I've I talk a lot about on Poison Talk that I talk a lot about on my streams is the idea of when you're live, when you're in front of a camera, in front of a crowd. No matter what, you have a version of yourself that you show. And, and I mean, until now, th th all we've ever gotten to know of you is the bun. I mean, you're, you've 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 gotten a lot of yourself out there, but you've always had this character that you're behind. Do you think it's easier to connect with people when you have like a character to that you you play or does that make it more difficult or how, how have you balanced that? Do you think? Um, I think for me, it was more because I wasn't, the physical was obscured. So anything like mental and emotional was all poured into it. So like, sure. I can, to some extent, like fake sounding okay, but I I don't have the ability that you do to not show it on my face. <laughs> oh yeah, on the last stream I had terrible food poisoning chat, but none of you know. <laughs> I but... did. But I mean, well, the, the nice part of that is um, that you have enough of a body of work behind the bun where you can emote in a lot of different ways just using bun emotes, which is yeah. nice. I don't know. It's I mean, that was that was also on purpose, and and of I course. think um, I had a lot of uh, I think I had a lot of creative block when I was growing up. I, mm. I never really expressed it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then when I started drawing it, like, all came out. Um, and at some point, I felt like this is, like, who... Uh, the bunny represents, like, all the things that I wished I had when I was growing up. Like... Like... Carrots? Happy, cute, like... Uh, carefree, like... Sure. Not, not the big heavy stuff that actually happened right i mean it's on a certain level i i, I regularly dream that i am a dog and i wake up like man that'd be so easy <laughs> i don't think i've ever told anyone that 
But no, uh, like, you've never told me that before. <laughs> to to live as a bun, it's like it's a it's a very simple character, not just to draw, but just to be a bun. Yeah. Um. So it, it I imagine it's nice to have that character to fall back on. But it it all there's probably also like you said a pressure to live up to being a bunny. Yeah. Well, and, and I think people associate it also with anger. <laughs> with with the bun. I think because yeah, because there's such a dissonance, <laughs> people find it hilarious. Well, but, true. Like, like I've had m multiple people come in and say, "Well, you know, like I I, I clicked on your stream because I saw your avatar and it was really cute, and then all I heard was this yelling." <laughs> and I was like, "Well." <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. When you and I first started, like, becoming friends, like, months back, I remember I, I spoke to my mother, who comes in the chat often, and she, she made some kind of comment, because I, I think, like, I swore one time that stream, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really do that much. She's like, yeah, you know, I noticed. I noticed when it comes to the game you play, um, the, the girls have worse mouths than the boys in that community. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's talking about my friend Jess, yeah. But... <laughs> But it, yep. it's 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 always it's always in an endearing way. Um, it's never directed at anyone besides Spelunky, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, besides like the the fake Derek that we've created, who does all these cruel things, but not the real Derek. <laughs> the real Derek seems like a nice guy. Yeah, um, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It, it's 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 a lovely persona that you've created around yourself, um, and it's. It's it, it contributes to what you've made your unique voice, I think, um, because you're 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 known. I've known you at least as fun for for like as long as I've known you. Well, I mean, like uh, you coined that, you started that. I. Ow. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I. N n really did not call me that, but yes, you did. Oh. What we we talked about this. I think before a little bit. I think at one point you said y you had st started it as Honey Bun, and then you were like, eh, "I don't like that. That's weird." Yeah, that's all romantic. So then you, so then you cut that part out and just stuck with Bun, and then it stuck. Well, you're a Bun. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know this. Uh, or a, a, a bunny, you or a. This. <laughs> well, no, I. I, I guess I guess I didn't fully look. I'm not trying to take credit for any part of your persona. You're you're a self-made woman, okay? okay. You you are the the bunny, the bun the bun we. Sure. Which I think which I think is the greatest pun that we never talk about. On it's we pretty good. and bon we, like on we of course being yeah. a, fe a feeling of listless list 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 listlessness and list, dissatisfaction list, list, yeah. arising from a lack of occupation or excitement, well, and that's more of I'm, the, dis I'm the dissonance. Huh? You're frozen on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, like shaking. No. It's, it's, it's like someone coming to my stream. Why is your face always in your hands? Oh. oh, I was back and now I'm not. And now I'm a blur. Look, this is on your end. It's that Canadian internet. Is it? My internet seems fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm, I'm Bitcoin mining right now. So maybe it's on my end. Maybe it's you. Maybe, maybe it's, it's both. Listen. So... Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> See, this is why this is why I couldn't have you on poison dogs. I'm like, it's just going off the rails the whole time. It's like, <laughs> oh hole. man, what? Listen, where were we? Um, so you you are you are you are bun. You are a cute rabbit lady, and you are, you know, and a, a big part of th that identity is the the dissonance between like being. Uh, aggressive, angry bun, and uh, sweet girl that I know you as. Yeah. But but there's when when it comes when it comes to girl gamers or girl streamers, I feel like there's always a lot to unpack and a lot of like the stereotypes and things. And I like that you break a lot of them, um, just by not I being afraid to be you. Just about this. Well, like... cool. Let's. <laughs> uh, what's it like being a girl gamer? <laughs> <laughs> I well, mean, well, uh... specifically as a woman. I mean, it's it's a different path that obviously I don't understand. She's not like the other girl gamers. Listen, she's like, what, what what do you think? What do you think? What are some unique challenges? What may, what what's easier being a girl? What's harder? Let's talk about let's talk about being a female. I I, I feel like every aspect is gonna have pros and cons. Uh, 
being a girl makes you stand out. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is yet to be determined. Uh, I, I it I worry a lot sometimes um, just when I'm uh, connecting with people and like uh, integrating myself into a new community. Like, am I being favored because I'm a girl? Do people are, are people only talking to me like because I'm a woman and we're rare? Um, sure. And then there's always the assumption that, ooh, well, a lot of the time there's the assumption that we're much worse at the game. I remember very distinctly, I uh, I had a stream and I was doing some co-op uh, with, oh, I, with yeah. a, a male friend one. of mine. I know this one. Yeah, and uh, this person came in and said, uh, I've never seen the girl play better than the boy. And just that alone, there's there's so much. There's like centuries of of, of social yeah. like. Yeah. <sighs> I, I mean, <laughs> d d is it well? Is that something you feel on its own? Like, is there a, is there a pressure uh, for you to be like the best girl spelunker, or is it? Do you just want to be the best spelunker, or is it? You just want to be looked at like everyone else. I I mean, I have no uh, delusions about being the best spelunker. That's ridiculous. Um. <laughs> We can't all be all be TV it, robot. Yeah, I know. In terms of um, best girl spelunker, it's that's not something I ever like. It wasn't ever a, a conscious like that's what I want to achieve. Sure. Um, and I, I, I just, I always want there to be more representation, and there's so few women on this platform. In this Blunky community specifically, um, that have like sizable communities, and mm -hmm. I feel like, as someone who is in a position to, um, you know, promote and support sure. uh, other women, I'd, I'd like to as much as I can. Yeah, I mean, you you make a point specifically to to lift up and to highlight other 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 women in content creation and in in art like can you've introduced me to you know uh to monster bet you brought her around like you did you did she lunky a couple weeks ago and that was a blast to catch the vod it's on youtube do we do we have a link i say like i have people hey hey can i get my crew to put the link up like yeah it's finders. me i'm the people <laughs> i'm lost now let me <laughs> we'll, we'll put it up after yeah um, wait one sec we need to well no no don't <laughs> I'm listening. You, you're, you're off the clock. Relax. Am I? I'm on the camera. No, he's got it. No, he's got like... it. Click on the link. Go, Thanks, go, Kelly. go bookmark it. Watch it later. <laughs> but, but I mean, you, uh, yeah, you, you go out of your way to, to, to highlight and lift up other women. Is, is that, is that like to, to try to get more women into it to show that they can, or is it like because, because you're, you're part of. Uh, part of that minority and you want to have like what what i know there's a lot of reasons to lift up other yeah. women but it, all of the above for me um mm -hmm. but especially i want other people to see what these women have to offer because they're missing out and like there's some, like there's some pretty cool ladies around here like you know hang out for sure Sorry, um, I'm, a little, I'm a little distracted i think like i washed these pants with gum in them it sucks ew. Oh, that sucks. Anyway. Did you actually? Yeah, no, that's... With, with, with any other interview, I would have just kept it to myself, but I feel like we're just... Yeah, no, right I, now. yeah. It's like, God, oh, there's gum in my pants. That's terrible. <laughs> all right, all right. What are we talking about? <laughs> um. Yeah, no, it's... On, on, that, on that note, let me regain my train of thought. All I can think of is these pants are ruined. These are my work pants. Um, oh no! When, when it when it comes to other women, uh, what what do you think? What do you think of women who take a different approach on Twitch and like go at it? I'm not gonna name any names like Ruby True, but like go at it from the point huh. of the perspective of like a hot tub streamer, an ASMR streamer, a body paint streamer. Do you think that is that a valid path? Is it is it just good business or does it make other women look bad? Like, 
So this is a really, I have a lot of really big, complicated feelings around this issue. It's um, complicated. Yeah, I mean, um, the feminist in me is like, yeah, absolutely, it's fine. Yeah, get that back. Why, why would there, like, they're not the ones that are gross for doing it. They're filling a demand that is clearly there. So, <laughs> Like, uh, all they are doing is taking advantage of what they can. Uh, sure. Because women are so disadvantaged in so many different ways. Um, speaking as, like, a woman of color, mm -hmm. who's also not straight, like, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I check a lot of those boxes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> just, just a lot of reasons for closed-minded people to be like, oh, that's, uh, the... oh, no, 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 we can't have that. But, exactly. but it, I, I mean, in that sense, is it, does that make it right for someone to, to pull down a thousand, like a thousand dollars an hour just by show is showing off in a hot tub? Like it's complicated I fucking for sure. Get it. Who cares? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like two minutes like... ago, you're like, you know, it's complicated feelings. And I'm not sure. And now you're like, yeah, put that bikini on. All right. No, no. But like, I, again, I, <laughs> They're only getting that because there's a demand for it. If there wasn't sure. a demand for it, it wouldn't be there. The problem is not that they are doing it. The problem is that the demand is there for it. True. But I, I, I feel like I feel like that's more of a corner case. I feel like in general, like it's admirable. I, I, I think there should be more different voices, more women, more just more anyone who is not like me. Because every time I was gonna I, say I, there, like there yeah. are like the uh, the majority of the Spelunky community, you're all sh like I I don't know about straight. You're all white guys. Yep. Like, yep. The, of of to, like of me and up, medium slender men. build, at least <laughs> moving towards straight. Like it, it's true, but I, I I feel like that's the great thing about Twitch, and that's always the great thing that I've experienced with building a community and getting to know people online is. The fact that there is so many other perspectives and ways of life and, and stuff I don't get that people help me get. Yeah. So I think and, I think it's just, very admirable to, to try and lift out those voices, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, the way the platform works, like, it's hard for people to get seen. And people have valid things to say and interesting viewpoints and stuff like that. But sometimes they just never get caught by the algorithm, right? And like networking helps with that, but there's only so much you can do. Um, well, well, specifically, you you are a professional at networking. I am constantly impressed by just the way the way you bring people together, or maybe just make me do stuff. Like you, you're you're very good at keeping organized and and at communication. I think those are important skills for a streamer to have. Is that just something that comes naturally, or is that learned? Like, what advice would you give to people who want to try and get better at what you do? Uh, I never really thought about it as networking. Um, I, I started in the Twitch community, like, February 2020. Uh, and this was while I was, um, off on disability. So I was, like, at home all the time. Um, so I was just on the computer all day. Um. And it was just, I, I would go into chats and I, you know would see the same names over and over again. So I started to get to know people and talk to the streamer and, mm -hmm. and uh, we s connect with some of them off, like outside of Twitch, like in discord. Mm -hmm. um, and then I like, I was just making friends. Yeah. And then um, from there it was like, okay, well then, that, then I started modding in, in mouse community. And then, you know, my name grew within that sphere, and then I started modding in Ryan or uh, Northern Alliance community, and then my like again the sphere yeah, I call grew. Him Ryan, no big deal. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but like the circle of people I was interacting with was expanding, um, and I, I just I don't know I like I crave connection. Um, I was really really lonely growing up as a kid, mm -hmm. um, so I I really seek that. Um, I want to get to know people and I want to know how their day was and I want to like that stuff. Like, I like that. I like knowing that. Um, yeah. 
but, but that's that's really all it was. And then the, I, the only reason that I have any success on Twitch right now is because a lot of those people who I made friends with decided, yeah, we'll hang out your Twitch stream while you do sure. whatever. I mean, in the way you put it, like, oh, it's not networking, it's just talking to people. Like, on the one hand, you're totally right. But on the other hand, that, that, that's a conversation I've had many times since I've started with my buddy Magnus. Shout out to Magnus Smash. I know you're watching the other room. Hey. Um, where if, if you go in, like, when you look at something like networking, that's so vitally important to success on something like Twitch and something like streaming. Um, if you're going at it like, who can I go and meet who will help me? Uh, if you're looking you're at already it, the, going about it the wrong way like, yeah if you go into it like what can i get out of you like yeah. that that's not that doesn't really work but if you no. go into it like i don't know the easiest example in my mind is i've been a, a huge twiggle fan from the moment i saw his spelunk videos back in like october of last year and so i would go and hang out in his chat so when i started this poison talk thing i'm like hey come on and he's like yeah i have 30 times your audience but i'll pop by if I had looked at that like, hey, let's use Twiggle to get in here for some clout, no. But if I'm like, I really, really like you, please come and do this. Yeah. It's the idea of going and just doing it to talk to people, to socialize, to, to hang out, to, I don't know, do this sometimes. Maybe not with a camera yeah. on you all the time, but that's what networking is to me. And I think that's such a vital thing for building up any kind of following on the internet, whether it's streaming, YouTube, anything. For sure. But you, you, something that you have over me and will always is your organization skills. Like, how do you how do you keep all the stuff straight that you do when it comes to like planning a charity event and a Goliath gaming event? And we got we got this going on. We got art. and We got. How do there you... are other there are other aspects of my life that are suffering. <laughs> is the oh, okay. actual answer. <laughs> like my house is a fucking mess. <laughs> like just ignore I think so many hoarding but... tendencies from my mother. I have so much crap that I just have to throw out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is okay. Garbage everywhere. Yeah, this is like like you're seeing the only like clean part of the house behind me, and like my bed is a mess. And some dogs back there too, huh? Yeah. We got what, Rocky and Tequila. We're showing them off. Hey. Tequila. Dog Rocky. Give me. Give me. Give me. We get some on my dogs oh, in chat. Oh, stretchy. It's stretchy. Which one's Rocky? Which one's Tequila? Tell chat. This one's Rocky. Mm -hmm. The little Chihuahua. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Can you go and like simulate a knock on the door to get them to start snarfing? No, absolutely not. Okay. I thought it was. <laughs> and then Tequila. I mean, they might start snarfing on their own. They like to fight. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. Now, do you think my do you think my numbers will start to skyrocket if I get a couple dogs and have them start to fight? Uh, maybe. That's not really a question. I'm just thinking it out loud for myself. Yeah. Um, just just borrow Tippy. Oh, shout, shout out to Salt City Slayer. Gotta get your dog yeah. in here. <laughs> and shout out to Ruby Ruse, another famous doggo in chat. Yuki! Um, <laughs> so, it's funny because you, you you just cursed on my stream, which is a big no-no. Um, it, it, it isn't really. I just don't do it. I, I did it like... I, I dropped an F-bomb a couple days ago. Um, oh, I remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure most of chat does. Fondly. Chat, stop redeeming kill a hired hand. Like, give it time. Um, not so a my... hired hand, chat. <laughs> no, I'm just going to start picking off bunnies in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my MS Paint eraser tool. Um, <laughs> no, you... Uh, what, something I think about all the time when I watch your stream is the quote from my mother. The girls have worse mouths than the boys. But you also... It, it's a it's a big sticking point like you'll 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 say an f word here and there um but whenever there's any kind of like directed hurtful language in chat in my chat or yours like that is like done that not allowed oh i shut that shit down immediately yes but where where, where does where does the difference lie and why why is it like a big deal to you what what random people on twitch chat say well uh, you highlighted it um it's that when i'm swearing uh it's not directed at anybody. It's my mm -hmm. frustration being expressed towards the video game. When people mm -hmm. are saying things purposefully uh, to hurt other people, I'm not okay with that. And uh, I, I think it's really, really important, especially um, as, a, as a female content creator, uh, to make your environment somewhere where people feel comfortable. 
uh, because I know I've been in a lot of Twitch chats where I stopped watching because the chat sucked. And, and, and so many chats were like, so many chats were just like, there's this like weird air of misogyny and like, yeah. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but like, it just felt wrong being there. And I never wanted my stream to be like that. Yes, I also watched a lot of Overwatch. No, I um, never watched Overwatch, that's sure. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, it's unfortunate that there's, a, there's like a lot of examples out there. And yeah. I mean, what I hate to throw stones at XQC in case he ever wants to come on my my, my stream. Or like Forsen or a lot of the big names where it's just like, say anything you want. Everything is a, is a, is a big joke. There's no real rules, whatever. But mm -hmm. I mean... If, if, if what, what's something you you would like to change about like that just a meme culture and on the other side of that coin like do you think that like pc culture and censoring can go too far or like now where, where do you think the balance is between between there's like a, there's, there's a way to say things and to make jokes and to point things out that aren't targeted and purposefully like cruel um, and, and I, I just, I've seen and experienced enough of that cruelty, uh, that I don't want anybody to have to deal with that. And I hope that if it happens in chat and I happen to miss it, mm -hmm. you know, people feel comfortable enough to talk to me or one of the mods or something. Mm -hmm. Um, cause that's something I want to rectify. And, uh, yeah, I, I really don't have much of a tolerance for it um okay. especially in my own chat but sometimes here too <laughs> <laughs> i i mean uh there, there's this really great video i saw on twitter a while back where like the the big joke is like it, it was it was a, a dude who was like playing the part of like he's a streamer then he's a chat member he's a chat member like ah yeah you suck ah yeah screw you and then there's like Someone with like a shirt that says like first time chatter is like, yeah, you're dumb. Everyone else is like, whoa, 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 dude, don't like, can we not harass a streamer? Can you not be mean? But like you guys were, no, yeah. no, it's different. Like he, I mean, he, it, it, he knows we don't actually think he's an <laughs> asshole. Well, it is different when like you build that audience and you build that rapport with the people that are there a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I know for you, you interact with some of your audience off stream as well. So it's like you, you get to know with communities that are the size, like your size and my size, that it's a lot more personal. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, Sunset, that is the video. I'll watch that later. We'll watch it together. Sunset. And uh, it, you get to know people. Um, and when you, when you know the person, and then we get into parasocial relationships, which is like, oh my God, fascinating, but also like, good Lord. Yeah, yeah um, you, you got to like 4 a.m., right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you're not working tomorrow. How do you? Yeah, I'm doing viewer co-op. It's Monday tomorrow. But, but, okay, but but maybe I picked up a shift. No, so like... Very the, rarely do you ever work on a Monday. Don't give me that. So several people in chat have said don't punch down, and that's like a good standard rule, but also like there's a level of comfortability. It's one of those things where it's like you want to try to foster a positive, a positive environment in general. And oh, because there's enough shit in the world as it is. Like, why would you want to contribute to that? <laughs> well, I mean, on the other side of the coin, for me, like, I, I don't want to be of, I, I don't like the idea of having to sit and, like, watch everything I say. I don't like the idea of, oh, I, 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 I better not you use the wrong uh, conjunction in a sentence or, like, this group's going to get mad at me. And I feel like I know a lot of old people in my life. A lot of co-workers, some family members who were like so frustrated by PC culture because things have changed in the last 10 years so much where they're just like, screw it. I'm, I'm going to throw out whatever slurs I used to throw out because they never used to be slurs. But it's one of those things where I feel like anything, anything is acceptable as long as one, it doesn't hurt people. And two, the intention behind it is good. Like... I, I, I've a couple times on, my, on on this stream, on my stream, like I've I've made a couple slip ups. It's like, ooh, poison! You probably shouldn't say that. It's like, oh, but I learn, I get better, I grow. 
And but, then, but, but people know that because that's something that you've established over the course of, like, your streaming sure. career, right? If something like that had happened, like, right at the beginning, it, it might have turned out differently, right? Oh, absolutely. And I, I feel like maybe that's a luxury of being a small streamer, but also... I, I, I joke around a lot, but I always make sure no matter what I'm talking about, there's a wink and a nod so the audience knows what I'm talking about and what the intentions are. And I think that's, for me, that's where I draw the line with like, oh, it's it, it's just a meme, it's just joking. But if it's something that's like, eh, that's, that's kind of shitty no matter what the context is. I don't know, we, yeah. we, we could well, go well, on and, for hours about this. Well, and, and, and sometimes, especially because you've mentioned like you're in this context, in a, pr in a place of privilege where you might not realize what something means to somebody else who doesn't have that, who's not in that same group as you, right? So, but people know you well enough that they know that you're kind and they know what your intentions are, that they wouldn't assume the worst of you. Yeah, but, but at the same time, like, if I'm, if I'm joking around, I get off, off trail and, like, I don't know... I, I, may, I make a sexist joke to you or to another girl in chat or something like, eh, go make me a sandwich. It's like, that's where the line is drawn specifically and it's hard to pinpoint on a case-by-case -case basis. But anything that like, that's not just a meme to me and I don't think it is to you either. No, it's not. Because it there's basis in what used to be the truth um, and normalizing things like that is harmful to, like, you know, making sure that equity between men and women happens at some point, if ever. Sure. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot, huh? Because yeah. Can we go back to talking about bunnies? <laughs> I'm frozen. Am I frozen again? No, you're good. No, I'm not. No, but, but just to tie that up in a nice little bow, like, I like the idea that you try to foster the same kind of ideals for your community that I, that I foster for, for mine, which are, you know, like, acceptance and uh, togetherness and making sure everyone is comfortable. The, the, the term safe space is, is co-opted by, by people who want to be able to say slurs. Yeah. But I like that we have a safe space here. Yeah. So thank you for helping, me, helping contribute that to me. Contribute yeah. to that with me. Contribute, whatever. Sure. Well, yeah. a, a little, a little longer, and we'll get on to some viewer viewer questions from chat. Um, but be, before we do that, um, what 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 is in the future for for Jesse and Beb? Uh, you got this charity thing wrapping up tonight. You got you got plenty more Lunky Co op to play. And you you got you got uh some of the Goliath game stuff. But I don't know. Any games you want to play? Anything you feel like doing? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I know, Leah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll decide in time, I promise. I still haven't done the art for it yet. Uh, I am going to be doing, like, a podcasty type talk with Leah and, um, uh, Notorious BLT. Uh. Notorious BLT? Oh. Yeah. The great name. Right? Hi, Frag. And any... Oh, no, any 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 other games you f you're gonna be playing soon? Uh, gonna get more of that Fox Arcade game. Right, thank you. Button City, hell yeah, dude. That Button game's City's so fun. adorable. It Super is. Cute. Yeah. Um. Probably. Yeah. I I probably will uh keep some of the indie games that uh came from the charity stream in the roster. Um. I have to get back to Raptor Boyfriend, otherwise chat will riot. <laughs> they have to know what happens. More, more Fermi Paradox? If I do more Fermi Thank Paradox, I have to have Magnus on. <laughs> yeah. We might be getting Magnus on as a special guest tonight for some co-op later. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh. Maybe a little Eevee. Maybe a little Eevee. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do some viewer questions. Um, and, and the first and most obvious one. Um, what is your favorite frog? From Doge. Um, the one uh, that sings. The hello, my baby. Hello, oh, my Michigan honey. Michigan J Frog. Yeah. That's a great answer. Yeah, that frog fucking rocks. 
and you asked Jess why it's so cold in here. See, this was my one fear about having viewer questions on this one, because like everyone in the chat, you're here so often. It's like if you, you if anyone wanted to ask you something, it's just like, hey Jess, how, how, how do you feel about uh, how do you yeah. feel about shrimp flavored ramen? It's like, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Sunset, um, is your window open? Jess, what what's your perfect Sunday afternoon? Jess, what would your what would your perfect game be? Says background. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's um, usually it just depends on what I want to play. Um, most of the time that is Spelunky. <laughs> yeah. So it's Spelunky. Spelunky two, perfect and, game. And, you heard and, your first chat. Yeah. Well, when I can't, I can't even be like, but make it not as hard because then I don't think I would want to play it as much. Fair. Know. What is what is Spelunky with without random had terrible deaths? You can't have you can't have sunshine without rain. Hey Jess, what question well, you should can't I have ask? a rainbow without rain. You can have sunshine without rain. Asher asks, hey Jess, what <laughs> question should I ask you? Uh I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Terrivan of the real question. Do you have an eight ball? Shoot me down on this if you don't want to answer, but what does family mean to you? Um it's a very loaded term for me. Um, I'm estranged from my parents and um, sort of haven't seen um, my grandparents for a while. And then my other grandmother died um, almost two years ago now. Um, so I, I have cultivated uh, a chosen family. Um, oh, that's and a lovely those answer. are people who, um, you know, aren't afraid to tell me that they're proud of me or aren't afraid to um, be affectionate, aren't afraid to do a lot of the things that my biological family didn't do for me. Um, That's you, chat. That's us. Yeah. All right, I, pro I promise I wouldn't push and like make you cry for content. So we'll, we'll, oh, we'll fine. get off so, uh, No, that's I. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually OK. OK, OK, all right. <laughs> Um, my, my, the question I gotta, I gotta ask, um, from Tall, Shark, and Handsome always, like, is, is there anything that in your streaming career that stands out as, like, a misstep, something that if you could go back, you would, you would change, or something you really learned from? Like, what, what, what's, what's a big, what's a big mistake you can tell us about that's a fun, wacky story or something? So, like, back in, like, April or May, this guy, Poison Type, raided me, and, uh, I went and, like, checked him out, and I, I don't know, it's all Mistakes. kind of a downhill thing. I love you. Come back. Okay, I'm back. It, it like <laughs> cool. We'll leave it there. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't know that I have one. No, yet. people people are Hopefully. agreeing in chat. That's great. Chat. Uh, Poison, can you ask what's under there? Jesse, where is down under? Can we talk about how lovely both Jess and Poison's hair is today? That we can talk about. Well, oh, thanks. Um, do you have any games coming out in the future, asks Dale, that you're looking forward to to picking up when they happen? I'm so bad at like Oh, Marlin Victor 74. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> you you don't have to work right now. <laughs> we have other mods. Nightbot's on that. Nightbot is not on that. Hang on, let me let me go look at my wish list at Steam. Because I'm so <laughs> bad at keeping up with like games that are coming out. Um Silk Song. Oh yeah, well, when that comes out in like 2026, it's gonna be it's gonna be killer. Oh hell yeah! Um, Man, let me see what, what's on my wish list. Frog Detective Three. Yeah, yeah. Hune Huni. What is that? Oh, never mind. Yeah, Honey um, Pop. Yeah. No, I, I. No, you can't. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we do co-op, you gotta play Puss on stream. <laughs> no, we, we we our our time is limited, Jess. I'll I'll, I'll play um, Puss like Wednesday or something. Popular upcoming, um, and there's I there's something I saw on Twitter. Why are all um, my popular like, upcoming like dating sims? Like, add add this to your wish list. It's called Farming Bun Life? House. Oh, you're making and, a game. And it, no, that'd be cool though. Bun House. 
Yeah. And it's like a little like farming sim, but you're you play as a freaking bunny. And it comes out in two days. Why wasn't this just the background for poison talks? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah, it looks cute. What the bunny doing? All right. Um, platypus, yes or no? Uh, it, 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 there's one. Uh, the, the reverse of the JH Spang asks, what are you proudest of in regards to the community you fostered? Um, uh, that, that's that, like... That, that, that people are feel welcome and make it a point to let me and the rest of the community know that um I, I think it's really important i think we as a, a people spend a lot of time uh or, or we we don't spend enough time telling the people that we care about uh, that we care about them um so that's nice that is nice yeah as a canadian have you ever had spruce beer no what's i don't like beer what's your favorite twitter link any extra challenges comes, for, for uh, the female streamers? Sunset by playing. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll have we'll have this vod up on YouTube. Um, th later this week. Platypus, yes or no? I think I already asked that. All right. So, <laughs> so what's 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 the final question that I, that I always go for? What's been your favorite moment? Like, if you could pick one distilled moment in your streaming career, like, what's something that you that you play in your mind that's just like nice. Uh, you mean before this? I ask again. It's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite moment. Yeah, but so before this. I'll wait. <laughs> Smooth, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> um... It's. It, I think it's got to be like the the she lunkies. Those were great. I had a lot of fun with those. You're just yeah, going back to what we said. You you make such a point to to lift up other. I mean, I I I said before other women in spelunky and women on Twitch and women in content creation. But really, you just do so much to lift everyone around you up. And my Hi. my stream my stream wouldn't be what it is today without you always pushing me to be better. So thank you. Thank you. Coming on, doing this. Yeah, well, d give us a moment, Chet. Thanks, Jess. You're welcome. Cool. Well, in a minute here, we're going to be headed over to some co-op. But before we go, any anything, any final stuff you'd like to, to shill, to talk about, to bring up? And, and, and uh... Chet, I, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here. But if you're not following Jesse of Bab, what are you even doing with your life? Like, no, Roach, I, I had a Minecraft server up at one point. I My problem is I only like to, like, resource gather. I, I don't like building because I'm not very good at it. I don't like doing all the modded stuff. So as soon as people, like, start automating things and I'm useless, I'm like, <laughs> well, this isn't fun anymore. God, Iron Golem Farm, guess I won't mind today. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, not, nothing to shout out. Just want to talk about Minecraft. Yeah, I, I mean, like for the next like six <laughs> minutes, can I can I answer chat's questions? Well, I can go on break. You guys can hang out. Okay. Listen, chat. So we're we're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna take like a like a five ten minute break. Set up my green screen, um, and then we're gonna do some co-op. But again, Jess, thank you, thank you for coming on and doing this. Uh, what was it a was it. Was it easy? Was it a formality that this would happen eventually? Maybe. But this has still been a pleasure. You're my yeah, favorite. I had a good time. You're my favorite. Everybody knows that. Well, the, the, they'll, they'll sure know it after watching the VODs. Drink, drink water and take your pills, everybody. Raccoons or Tanukis? What's the difference? Okay, talk to chat when we go to co-op. Go, go, go Thank you. Thank you, Jess. And I'll, I'll see you in like a few minutes. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. 